then we better get to the fort before we change. Because I think all the ring does is allow us to change back. It doesn't stop us from changing. I wonder what the green is. Okay, so. Hello everyone. I'm Lady AFK. And welcome back to Modded Skyrim. It's a full moon. We are about to change into a werewolf. Um, we have... Farkas Vilkas here with us. And we're about to take the fight to the Silver Hand. Oh, I got too close. Oh, I'm changing. Do a hundred percent more damage as a werewolf. Yes, thank you. Is that everyone? Nope. I smell panic, but not nearly enough. I am a better archer than you. Ha! Mercy! Oh, I missed. <laughs> go to the actual fort, which I can't look at my map. So let's just run. <laughs> look at that full moon. That's serious business. It's all right. We'll use it to our advantage. That would make things ten times more fun. Why you time out so mm -hmm. Why would the vibes just mess? Alright. Hi. Mine. You wanna come down here? You wanna come down here? Someone there? Come down here. How do I get up there? Ah, oh, these stairs. Come on. This is the Are you serious? You. Oh. She passed out. She got so scared. Watching me eat her friend. She passed out. Right. Let's go in. wants to be eaten. I'll show you to kill my harbinger. What was that? <laughs> it was a werewolf! Enough. Right, there's that door, that very large door right in front. Which leads nowhere. Excuse me, my friend. And this. Haha. <laughs> Actually, can I even go through that big door? A bit. Be careful. Why aren't you werewolf? Wake up! Stop daydreaming about me and which way are you going? I can't open it. No, it's barred from the other side. Alright. Good. Hey. Hey. 
I'm a werewolf. Get out of my way. Time to end this little game. <laughs> <laughs> God's lovely this time of year, Nord. Anyone else up here? Nope. Let's keep moving. That must be locked. Does your spirit remain uh. naked? Huh? <laughs> 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 I hit Romarian too many times? <laughs> Sorry. We're all good now. Alright, uh, can I pull this lever as a werewolf? I sure can! Driftshade Cellar. So, we got that ring just in time. Because <laughs> it then immediately turned to a full moon. Pressure Someone there. I don't know what's going on! <laughs> Easy. Whoa. It's a kill animation, but couldn't see it. Alright. What was that? What was that? Time what do you think? <laughs> Smithing increased to 125. That's good. Oh, through here. Why aren't you a werewolf? Why don't you want a werewolf with me? <gasps> Is it rocks falling or something? We have company. <laughs> Holy cow, I'm about to level up again. Can I let you out? Is that a bad idea? Can't, can't let him out. Ooh, Sophia. Time to end Get this little case. I'm not going to level up. I want to train first. And then I'll level up and then I'll train again. Apparently alchemists eat ingredients to learn how to make potions. Never works. As for eating this or that, it sounds painful. Werewolf first available. Excuse me, dear. Just want to chomp on this body next to you. Let's see, what do we have? Being a werewolf is great for leveling up. Alright. Drift Shade Refuge. Alright. Give me 
me those fragments. Never should have come here. Close. I cannot best you. Here we go. Ooh, optional wipe out the silver hand. I gotta tell you, I'm really disappointed you didn't want a werewolf with me. So, let's revert, steal all the loot, and I'll meet you back at your Vasker. Unless something interesting happens. So, see you in your Vasker. Okay, so it's calling this guy a werewolf savage. So, that probably means we shouldn't let him out. But I'm gonna let him out anyway. And if nothing else, we'll put him out of his misery. And, uh, instead of leaving him here to starve. Oh! Yep. Yeah. He killed me. Oh, he didn't kill me. He just knocked me down. Good. So that was a bad idea. Now we know. Now we know. The others have probably prepared Codlac's funeral by now. Come up to the Sky Forge to pay your respects. I can do that. I took a shortcut. Who will start? I'll do it. Before the ancient flame. We grieve. We, we grieve. grieve. At this loss, we, we weep. We weep. What's the tail doing? For the fallen, we, we shall shout. shout. Vigilance, here, boy. And for ourselves, we, we take, take our, our, our leave. leave. Sorry. I always get emotional at funerals. Ready to get moving? Actually, I've never been to one, and I don't care that Codlick is dead. I just never get a chance to have a good cry without looking like it's old a weirdo, and... This place is so depressing. Our last together. Do you have the fragments of Uthrad still? I'll need to prepare them for mounting again. Um, I would turn them with honor. Don't get too flowery on me, lass. Of course, I have a small favor to ask of you. Oh, yeah? There's another piece that Kodlak always kept close to himself. Would you go to his chambers and bring it back for me? I'm not sure I'm the best one to go through his things. But I am? Guess I'll have to. I appreciate it. Hmm? Mm-hmm. Hmm. hmm my tail doing though? <laughs> I ain't much for talking. I didn't. We done? Yeah. I don't know why you started talking to me again. I'm having tail issues. Issues. Can you see that? There we go. Yes? Leave me. Leave you? I, I don't know how to react at funerals. People always say the dead are off to a better place. But then why is everyone so sad? It's very true, Mari. Probably because they'll miss them. Leave me. Farkas! Not now. Let Fine. me stew. Alone. I will go get the fragment. Okay. Ready for this? In my dream, I see the line and Parbinger start with Yus start with Yusgrimore. Each of them ascends to Sovngarde until we come to Terfig, who first turned us to the ways of the beast. He tries to enter Sovngarde, but before he can even approach soon, he is set upon by a great wolf, 
who pulls him into the hunting grounds, where Hersene laughs with welcoming arms. Terrifying seems regretful, but also eager to join her scene after a lifetime of service as a beast. Then I see every next harbinger turn away from Sovereign Guard and enter the hunting grounds of their own accord, until it comes to me, and I see great soon on the misty horizon beckoning me. It appears I have a choice, and then at my side a stranger I had not seen before. As I look into her eyes, we turn to see the same wolf who dragged away Terfig, and she and I draw weapons together. I realize this is only a dream, but a strong enough dream to inspire a man like me to take to writing, so it must be of some import. I've spoken my thoughts to the circle, withholding the part about the stranger, lest Skior worry I will no longer seek his counsel, and I was not surprised to see them torn by it. Skor and Ariella are strong in the ways of the Ayla are strong in the ways of the beast and even seem to suggest that the hunting grounds would be their choice of afterlife if it were truly a choice. Vilka seems seemed most troubled. The boy is fierce as a saber cat in battle, but his heart fire burns too brightly at times. He felt deceived and I don't blame him. Farkas didn't know what to think, but I believe he will come around with me and his brother eventually. He usually does. I don't know what to do about Skior and Ayla. I know they respect the companions of me, but they take the blood more deeply than the rest of us. Fortune smiles upon us. Yesterday Vilkas was telling me how difficult it had been for him to give up his transformations. Until we can pursue a true cure, the twins and I have chosen not to give in to the beast blood. For me, it provided a clearer head, but... Philcus seems to be suffering a bit for us. Farkas seems completely untroubled. That boy continues to amaze with his for fortitude. While Vilkas was confiding through the shadows of Yervaskar, I saw a newcomer. Oh, while Vilkas was confiding through the shadows of Yervaskar, I saw a newcomer approach who wished to join our numbers. It was the stranger from my dream. That's what they were talking about when we walked up. The one who would stand with me against the beast. Vilkas began speaking obliquely, not wishing to air our problems in front of our guests, but I had to be doubly cautious to not reveal anything of our secrets to the newcomer, while also not revealing the details of my dream to Vilkas. I don't know how these politicians deal with these sorts of machinations daily. In any case, I've sent Vilkas to test the newcomer. We'll see if she is truly the great warrior I dreamt of. This newcomer, it seems, is made of decent stock. She calls herself Ariella and has already impressed some of the circle with her medal. I will still keep my own counsel on her place in my dream for now. Let us see what kind of destiny she is carving before hitching to her. In the meanwhile, I look for ways of cleansing my blood. The writings and legends on the subject are sparse and contradictory. I don't wish to engage any wizardry on this matter, but I fear they may be the only ones who best know how to navigate these worlds of knowledge. It is apparent to me now that Terrific's choice to turn us was indeed a mistake. Magics in their ilk are not in keeping with the spirit of the companions. We face our problems directly without the needs of such trickery. I can only hope to guide us back to the true path of Ysgrimor before the rot takes me. Ariella continues to impress. I don't know yet where she will stand on the question of the blood, but the question has not been presented yet. She does not know that we carry the beast's blood and appears, and appears curious about it. Soon enough, I can explain our troubles and hopefully see what role she will play. I'm amazed that Ayla thinks she can keep a secret among this drunken rabble, especially with the loss of Skior. My heart aches. Emotions are fraying and the walls of discretion are the first to fall. Apparently she and Ariella are waging their own separate war against the Silver Hand in retaliation for Skior's death. Their hearts are noble, but the course of vengeance is running hot and I fear the counterstroke, counterstroke that may come if they do not rein in their fury. Ariella shows valor though. Even in this underhanded time, we have not had cause to speak much, and that is something I deeply regret. I have high hopes for her destiny, as I realize that her appearance in my dream may indeed mark her as the harbinger to succeed me. I have received few dreams over the course of my life, but when they come, I have learned to trust them. I have also learned to trust the instincts of my heart, which tells me that Ariella can carry the companion's legacy as truly as any residing in your vasker, especially with the loss of Skior. Ayla is too solitary, Vilka is too fiery, and Farkas too kind-hearted. Only Ariella stands as a true warrior who can keep a still mind amidst these burning hearts. I will not speak to her of any of this, though. It is too much to burden another with. My hope is that she and I can keep counsel over the coming years, that I can impart the wisdom of the Harbingers, all things in time. Firstly, I will seek her assistance in the matter of the Witches of Glen Moral. It would appear that our path to the curse is not without some poetic justice for the trickster who first cursed us. Ooh, that was a lot. Oh, there's a stone of Baron Sai over here. I did not even see that before. 
So. Should we get moving? Destiny calls. Have the fragments. You're back. I have Codlax fragments. Thank you. Your shield siblings have withdrawn to the Underforge. I think they're waiting for you. All right, thanks. Aren't they slow? I can get in and out before you. I want training and I want to level up. The old man had one wish before he died, and he didn't get it. It's as simple as that. Being moonborn is not so much of a curse as you might the think. The alchemist in Skyrim will buy anything that's that comes That's fine for in you. But he wanted to be and clean. Money he wanted to meet Iskramor and know the glories of Sovngarde. But all oh, that was taken though, from him. When he got chased out of town by the shop him. owner. Godlack did not care for vengeance. No, far. Excuse me, my friend. And that's not what this is about. We should be honoring Codlack, no matter our own thoughts on the blood. You're right. It's what he wanted, and he deserved to have it. Codlack used to speak of a way to cleanse his soul, even in death. You know the legends bitch. of the tomb of Iskramor. There, the souls of the Harbingers will heed the call of Northern Steel. We can't even enter the tomb without Uthrad. And it's in pieces, like it has been for a thousand years. And dragons were just stories, and elves once ruled Skyrim. Just because something is, doesn't mean it must be. The blade is a weapon, a tool. Tools are meant to be broken, and repaired. Is that... Did you repair the blade? This is the first time I've had all the pieces, thanks to our shield sister here. The flames of Hero can reforge the Shattered. The flames of Kodlak shall fuel the rebirth of Uthrad, and now it will take you to meet him once more. <laughs> okay then. I think that they're blocking him. Yeah. As the one who bore the fragments, I think you should be the one to carry Uthrad into battle. The rest of you, prepare to journey to the tomb of Ysgrimor, for Kodlak. Wow, Uthrod. The legendary weapon wielded by Iskramor himself. I think we should keep it for ourselves. At the very least, it would make a magnificent trophy. Well, maybe we will c keep it. Once we're harbingers. Do you have anything to say? For Kodlak! I, I just want to feel included. <laughs> oh, Ramar. <laughs> Alright then. For Codlack. <laughs> oh my. Where they go? Come, come back here. No, don't go. I want to level up. For Codlack. <sighs> well, it would appear that we can't level up. Not until we. Get to the tomb of Yskimor. So, that and leveling up, we'll have to wait until the next episode. Thank you so much for joining me. You guys are amazing. Uh, thanks for all the likes, the comments, and the subscriptions. And, um, yeah, I love that little cat down there. It looks like that one back there. It's always back there asleep. Have you anyway, ever tried bareback? I don't know. Anyway, I didn't like thanks it. for joining me. It started to make me a little I will see you in the next one. Till next time.